Hello everyone, welcome back to Resident Evil 3 on the GameCube. I'm SquareX987 as part of the Nakey Gaming Group channel. And so last time we um, we defeated Nemesis uh, for the final time. <laughs> and uh, Jill became infected with the Tyrant Virus, or the T-Virus as it's abbreviated. And uh, we took control of Carlos and we headed over to the uh, hospital here to try help try to find a, a vaccine for Jill. And so anyway, we made it up to the fourth floor. We uh, ran into Nikolai, who apparently was able to get across town without the assistance of the train, or he snuck on board somewhere and just hid. And it turns out he's an antagonist. He killed one of our, uh, or one of my uh, partners, or one of my uh, fellow uh, brothers in arms. So anyway, we're going to this uh, sick room over here. Here's 401. Our destination is 402, but before we go in there, we need to actually go in room 401. Now there could either be zombies in here or worms. I'm hoping that it's zombies and not worms. And it's worms. I hate worms. All right. So basically, ah, jeez, get off me. Is there my or my herbs over here at least? No, they're not. Ah, you're gonna, you're gonna kill me. So well, the whole point of coming in here is to check this doctor's body here. Um. Got 104 as our code. There's a we need this code to enter in the next room in room 402, and also that little chest in the, in the corner up there, that little stand that has drawers on it. We need to know the placement of that. So this room is mirrored to the room right next to it. So what we have to do is when we go over to room 402, we have to move that um, uh, I guess thing of drawers there. We have to move it to the opposite side of the wall over there. If that didn't make any sense, that's fine. I, uh, it didn't make a lot of sense to me either. But anyway, we go over here, drop this off, or un drop this off. Un uh, use that key to get in. So it was on uh, this chest here. So it was on this side of the wall, and it was on the opposite side of the bed, from what I remember. So that means, we or it was on the same side as the bed, from what I remember. So it should be the same in this room. It, this room is just mirrored, so it should be the opposite. So basically what I was trying to say in an elaborate way was you move this here <laughs> to the right place in the in the room. Which you can already tell it's on this side of the wall because that's where the drawers open. And I'm pretty sure it was over here. And if it's wrong, I'll just get shocked. No, I picked it right. But if you screw up, all you do have to do is just leave the room and the room resets. And this is what we needed our combination for. And depending on which scenario you're playing, it will uh, be a different code. I think it's one of three. Alright, so we need this vaccine base, which is one part of the... Uh, um, this vaccine we need to help uh, chill. So now we're done with the fourth floor. So go ahead and equip your uh, assault rifle here, which is about to. Uh, we're about to use pretty much most of it here down here in the bottom floor. All right, let's go to basement three. All right, we took out the zombies on the fourth floor, which means they won't appear here. They could either they could either appear on the uh, the first floor, or the fourth floor, or the basement. Uh, basement three depending on what scenario you're playing we already took them out so in here we'll have to deal with some hunters now these are here in all three scenarios and they're just as annoying but we can actually cheat on one of them hey buddy all right don't shoot that canister right away because he's gonna jump back oh getting that time wow pretty much every time I play this game this hunter here usually jumps back so you can't hit him with it explosive canister there. They're not actually stupid, they're smarter than they look. Okay, let's see what we got now. Anyway, here's all Carlos's health. Now, um, there's a couple of new type of hunters in here. I, they have a name, but I forgot what they're called, but we can actually... Um, I don't think there's a file on them anywhere in this game. They're, well, I think they're mixed with fish or whatnot, but anyway. Our objective is here to have this uh, medium base to help make a vaccine 
Now, you would just be tempted right away to combine these two, but unfortunately it doesn't work. You have to pick up this file here, the Medical Instruction Manual, Umbrella Medical Service North American Division Douglas Rover. Woo, it's a long title. In order to activate the synthesizer to cultivate the vaccine, please follow the procedure as detailed below. Number one, supply enough energy to the system. Set the medium base to the device. When the device is ready, you can start mixing the vaccine medium. To mix the vaccine, you will need to control the five levers. This will cause the two gauges to increase or decrease. If you adjust the two gauges so that they stop at the center, the vaccine medium will then be produced automatically. So, if you understood all that, good for you. Basically, it says you gotta have manual power, which for some reason <laughs> also drains these uh, tanks that contain these uh, subjects. So now they're able to escape whenever they want. Now, they're being pretty quiet and still at the moment. But now we have to take this medium base set in this machine and mess around with these gauges here to try and get that yellow uh, see that red on the right side there it's got blue yellow and red well we want them both to meet in the middle to be blue and yellow and the way we work is we adjust these gauges and however we adjust them it's going to raise or lower the pressure so I already know the solution just because I've played this game many times and the answer is you move the first gauge and see the one on the left raised and went too much but the one on the right went down too low so now you go for three the one on the left goes up really high and uh, so we have our gauges one two three a and b so now we go to the bottom two gauges and we do a and you just get the solution just by messing around with the gauges to try and get meat in the middle there it's not too difficult it's just kinda like guessing alright now we have the vaccine medium now we can mix it with the uh, vaccine base and we'll have our vaccine to give Jill now we just have to go back to the clock tower and these two enemies won't they're just gonna stand there and they're not gonna attack me at all but we can just cheat and leave <laughs> yeah I usually skip those two guys because you don't have to fight them that they're actually tough they're tougher than the uh, the normal hunters but don't worry we'll have Jill will have an opportunity to uh, take out some of them but with Carlos with an assault rifle which is not very effective towards those guys oh yeah wait I forgot all about those hunters in here yeah I knew there was gonna be another one coming so that's why I waited I, I was hesitant about running ahead alright 19 percent yeah I got lucky there he could have uh, if you played the first Resident Evil <laughs> You know that the hunters can do that lunge attack and slash your head off like they did that zombie out in the uh, the uh, hospital entrance. And uh, on hard mode, if you're on yellow caution, they have the ability to kill you in one hit. So I got pretty lucky there. I was waiting for him to, to hit me a couple more times and then do that lunge attack and kill me. That's usually how I die in uh, uh, these games. Or this one in particular. Same way with Resident Evil 1. The hunters usually are the ones that kill me. Alright, there should be a couple more here. But we're in the safety of the elevator, so we're, we should be good. There we go. Yeah, those two are easy to handle. Now, uh, something's different here. Those zombies we encountered on the fourth floor, sometimes uh, you won't encounter these two hunters here. You'll encounter those zombies instead. But you won't encounter the... Uh, in the if, if it were the other way around, you wouldn't encounter the um, the hunters where the zombies normally appear. If, if that didn't make sense, I'm, I apologize. All right, go ahead and take this blue herb now. And I pretty much just go ahead and uh, make a super herb. Yeah, this one has the the green, blue, and the red. Yeah. So pretty much you get 100% health and it cures poison. There's really no point in um, making one. I just do it for the heck of it because I can. Because we're about to uh, um, get rid of Carlos here and get back to using Jill once we get rid of the vaccine. All right. I do recommend going ahead and saving here. Because I haven't saved since I defeated Nemesis, and I'd hate to die and have to refight Nemesis and then redo the whole uh, area of the hospital again. Well, I wouldn't hate it. I mean, I, you know, I love this game. This game's awesome, but it sucks to have to backtrack sometimes or redo areas that I could have easily 
Um, oh, there's an explosive there, so I better escape the hospital pretty quickly. It gives you six seconds, so you got plenty of time. I wonder who could have set those. Couldn't possibly be the person that's trying to kill me. <laughs> Come on. Uh. Well, so much for the Umbrella Hospital. Okay. Now, back to Jill. Oh yeah, I forgot those stupid chimeras were in here. I didn't kill them before. I'll have to run past them. I mean... Well, you probably know what that is by the music. Alright, here's another difference between the scenarios. Usually there's worms in here, but on this scenario, there's zombies. You know those worms that crawl around on the ground that was, they were attacking me and, and the... Uh, uh, the fourth floor hospital, they grab onto you. They're kind of like leech. I guess they're more like leeches. Alright, see if I can get past without getting hurt. Nope, he already hit me twice. <laughs> yeah, he hit me He hit me once. There we go. Well, anyway. What's, what's sad, though, is uh, those enemies won't be here when I come back with Jill. So it's kind of pointless to kill them. I guess they just disappear. I don't know. Or they move on. Alright, but anyways, I was trying to say, um, that room over there that I came from, either you either have zombies in there or you have those worms that were attacking me. That's one uh, another difference here. And now we get to see, uh, Nemesis Type 2. Which, uh, he's just, just he's actually more deadly than Type 2. And I don't think I have enough ammunition with Jill to take him out, so I think I will actually have to run from him this time. You don't have to fight him with Carlos. You can just run off because you're going to have to fight him with Jill anyway. Well, there went the rest of my uh, assault rifle. Oh, I forgot Carlos. Oh, he probably killed me here. I forgot. I should have used my health. Nah, I'm survived. Oh, crap. He might kill me here, though. Ooh. He's pretty much just going to try and leave me alone because he's not really interested in fighting me. He really wants to kill Jill, so that's where he's going. Which is the only time you'll ever see Nemesis try and run away from you. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Alright. Now he'll attack me in here for a little bit. I don't think I can kill him with only 13 handgun rounds. We'll see what I can do, though. Ouch. Uh, let me use this. Five rounds left. I don't think I can kill him. He's going to get away. No. I'm going to have to just run from him. Nothing I can do. Oh, well. He's not going to give me the opportunity to run away from him. Yeah, he just did there. Thanks, buddy. Yeah, it's really hard to kill him with, uh, with Carlos. Unless you're using the special weapons, then it's not bad. Uh, am, I, am I gonna make it? Yeah, okay, I made it. <laughs> yeah, Nemesis won't come in the safe rooms. That's like a safe zone. He won't come in there at all. Either that or maybe he's afraid of God. He doesn't like chapels. <laughs> maybe that's like his weakness. Hey! Are you okay? Yes. Barely. What's going on? No way! That monster just doesn't give up! What? I thought we killed that thing! No. It's been waiting for you! Stars. He's playing with us. Carlos, do you think that it's unstoppable? No. I don't think so. Huh? I'm sorry, Jill, but I've got to go take care of a few things. Oh, and... Bad news. Nikolai is still alive. Nikolai? Are you sure? Yes. I don't know how, but I do know that he is our enemy. 
Remember, don't trust him. All right. Well, uh, one difference to note here is if I actually was able to uh, finish off Nemesis with uh, Carlos, that dialogue here would have been just a little bit different. He would have uh, said, "Man, I, I took out that guy, but he's still he's still coming after you." That's about the only difference he would have said. Uh, or that's about the only difference. Well, let's see how well I can do. Do I have another piece of health to put in here? Oops. Uh, I thought I had one more first aid spray. I do. Sweet. All right. Drop off the mine thrower. We don't need that. Yeah, I can't fight Nemesis with only uh, three flame rounds and some handgun rounds. There's just no way. So basically, what I will have to do here is take these grenade rounds. I'll be using these. And now we need our lock pick. Um, well, you know what? Since I have this shotgun, and I don't have any rounds anyway, I'll go ahead and use this one for a little bit. Let's see. Uh, in fact, we'll go ahead and just use... Oops. I don't need no stinking map. We'll go ahead and just use this uh, shotgun. But uh, if we defeated Nemesis this time, he gives us another uh, first aid box. But unfortunately, I just don't have the firepower to do it. So I'm going to have to run. And surprisingly, he didn't attack me there. I don't think he'll attack me until I get to this foyer here. Yeah, that's what I thought. See ya. Now, he will chase me through a couple of these areas. I know he'll chase me through uh, this one. Well, no, this one's so short, he won't make it in time. He'll chase me through this area, though. Alright, gotta be ready to run. Yeah, here he comes. And uh, he typically will chase you through at least two or three areas before he'll go away. I don't think he'll chase me through here. No, he won't. Sometimes if the, if the area is too small, he won't enter. But after that, you don't have to deal with him for a while. Well, now you're done. He won't follow you out here. Yeah, it's like a, uh, I guess it's like a pistol shotgun. Now, it's not as strong as the other one. Like, see, I've already used five of the rounds, and I think there's still one more zombie. Yeah, there is. He was hiding over here. But you still can do a headshot. Well, that was that shotgun. All right, now we're done with the lockpick. Now, there should be either uh, grenade rounds in this room or mine thrower rounds. I'm hoping it's grenade rounds. Oh, sweet, it is. Thank you. That's exactly what I was needing. Alright, uh, okay, let's take this key. And then there's a file here, or another post, a picture, let's see. Well, I'll take the ink ribbons too, that's fine. Photo E. The zombies are attacking. Alright, not very much, not very descriptive there. Okay, let's see, oh yeah, let's check out this key. Uh, it's a key for the main gate, Raccoon Park. Main gate key, alright. So now we can take the uh, shotgun, put it away, put my ink ribbons away, put the lockpick away. We won't be needing that one. Uh, keep, hold on to your first aid sprays. Uh, I'm going to bring my other shotgun back out. I know I don't have any rounds for it, but I will. Sh well, actually, I won't be getting any until another chest, so there's no need to have a shotgun with me. Oops, didn't mean to take that. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and save here. I know I save probably more often than I should, but that's okay. Okay, now we can drop this uh, ink ribbon back off here. Go ahead and equip your grenade launcher with three flame rounds in it. I think it's a three. Because the, the park entrance could either be hunters or or zombies. I believe with the uh, the way the hospital was laid out, did Nemesis kill me just then? He didn't, did he? No, he didn't. Alright, so this is the same scenario I've been playing since my last death. So, I believe there should be zombies right here, but it could be hunters. We'll see in a second. No, oh, no, it's hunters. And I missed one. Woo, 
and I wasted a round, but that's okay. I took him out. That's good enough. All right, well, I have one round left. Oh, boy. All right, so down we go. Now we go to this side of the park first, because there's, uh, there's another key that we need over here. Okay, this is where the zombies are. That's fine. This is the part that cha it's changed, not the other. The other place, the other part has uh, hunters in it, but this is the area that has the zombies. Or it could have the the ones we saw in the basement of the hospital. Those type of hunters. Oh, I thought you were gonna move and attack me, but no, you're just standing there. But anyway, uh, let's see. I'm gonna end this part here. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Uh, I'm Squarex97, and please subscribe to the Naked Gaming Group channel for some awesome uh, videos.